Hi, I'm Nash Lin and thank you for watching iLearnToAnimate.com. In this video tutorial, I'll teach you how to do reference image modeling for Maya. So what exactly is reference image modeling? This is a modeling method that allows you to directly draw 3D models on your design. It's very similar to tracing out a drawing onto a paper, but this is in a 3D environment. And it is much more accurate because you are drawing 3D model just like an engineer. You have less errors and you can finish your model very accurately. And why do we use reference image modeling? Because with reference image modeling, it speeds up your modeling speed by 5 times. You have less errors, you can finish up faster and you are much more accurate. And the good thing is, you only spend 5 to 10 minutes to set up your reference image and you can create quality 3D models with less time. Doesn't that make you a happier 3D modeler? So, how do we do this reference image modeling? There are four simple steps to follow. First, prepare reference images in Photoshop. Second, display your reference images in Maya to scale and proportion. This is very, very important. Thirdly, log your reference image and lastly, you are ready to draw your model. So let's get started on this. Find an image you wish to model. It can be any image or design you have created or downloaded from the web. Okay, for me, I found my image from conceptart.org okay, by a person called Dash Jam. Okay, this image, this is the Iron Man image I got. And I'm going to use the front view and the side view to help me to model. If you wish to put in all the other views, feel free to do so. Okay, now I'm going to pull this out to Photoshop. When I prepare my images, I make sure that at all the views, the height and proportion is the same. This will help my modeling accuracy. Now, I'm going to start by pulling out guidelines from the ruler to where I want to have my image cropped. Okay, next, from the left and here. I'm going to use this image and I'm going to use one more which is over here like this now I need this image and I did this image if your design are not horizontally aligned in terms of height please do so by doing it in Photoshop so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to slice these guys Okay, go to the crop tool. If you are using crop tool, go to the slice tool. Slice on the first using the guideline. The guideline will actually help you snap the slice. Slice one. This is the first slice. Secondly, slice the second image. Once I'm done, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use slice select tool to help me do my naming. Okay, I'm going to just double click over here using a slice tool and this is the name of my uh, first image but I'm going to call it front view okay, take note of this width and height okay we're going to use it later on okay I'll click off all this I'm going to do the same for the side view side view okay click OK so once we got this, all we need to do is go to File, Save for Web and Devices. You will come across this screen. What you need to do is make sure that you are using it in saving it file into JPG format. I prefer it to be JPG format. Okay, JPG. And on this on both of them. Okay, so I'm gonna press shift and select two of this section and I'm gonna hit on save. I'm gonna to go to the desktop and I'm gonna create a new folder called Iron Man. Create okay with this being selected 
I'm going to save it as images only. Um, setting use background image only. And slices, only the selected slices. We do not need the rest of the slices because oh, I only need this two. So what I'm going to do now is save. Once you're done, you can just minimize Photoshop. Don't close it, just minimize. And here is the folder that I have just created. And in, inside, you will see that it automatically creates a folder called images with your previously named slice front view and side view. Okay, now let us move on to step 2 to get to Maya. Open up Maya. Right. And I'm going to start with creating a plane. A very simple plane. Now, still remember that I told you to remember the value of your slices. It is very important because we need the size of your image to help to put in the correct proportion for your Maya plane. So what I'm going to do now is, I'm going to use my slice selection tool, double click on this. Remember that this value is 334 by the height of 579. Okay, I'm going to go over 334. I'm going to select polyplane. Height I'm going to put as 334. However, 334 is a huge value, so I'm going to reduce it to two decimal, one decimal, 579. Now, this will be the plane for reference. So what I'm going to do now is, to see this in shaded form, select this and press number 6. Okay, you can see that in shape. Now, let us go to the hypershade to put in a material for it. Go to Windows, Rendering Editor, and Hypershade. Hypershade is the material. Okay, so I'm going to insert a new material by clicking on the word bling, the bling material. And I'm going to double click on this material. And I'm going to first name it as Iron Man Front Ref and Enter. Right, go to the next attribute which is the color attribute. Click on this checker box. You'll come up with this create render node. I'm going to insert the if file. So that this file will be the image of the plane. Click on file. You'll come across this file attribute. Click on the folder icon. And let us go to my desktop. I am man images front view. And click on open. Right now I am man is applied to this shader. So I'm going to apply it to this material by selecting the plane and move the mouse over to the shade that we've just created, blink shade, right click, hold it down and pull up to assign material to selection, release. Notice that immediately our model has a shader, uh, have a texture. Okay, however, it this uh, it is not really looking as how we want it to be. So what we're going to do is we have to edit a little bit on the UV by clicking on this UV edit texture editor. Now we're going to edit this because the UV is only covering this amount of the image. We're going to make it cover the whole of this image. So what we're going to do is select this object, right click and hold to UV. Okay, I'm going to edit these two points. So I'm going to just select these two points. Click on W so I can shift. Notice not that I want to shift it exactly on the grid. The easiest way is to turn on your step to grid up here and pull. You should be able to see that your model your plane has the texture and your iron man should look proportional as a practice i normally try to have my uv texture 
and the model side by side so I can see uh, interactively what's going on. Once I'm done with this, close this window and I can change this to back to object mode. So the next thing I'm gonna try to go to channel box and rotate it upright. Okay, by using maybe for rotate X. Okay, and I'm gonna pull it up. Turn off my snap for now. Now I'm gonna look at it from a front view. Press spacebar to look at it, and this is my front view. So what I'm going to do is press number 6 in this panel so I can see the texture of my model, my plane. Okay, and let me just zoom in. My practice is I will align this right into the middle of the axis and make sure that my feet is touching on the zero axis like this. this will be how it looks like once I'm happy with this I'm gonna create the second one using the same method I'm gonna make sure that both the front view and the side view panel are of the same height so what I'm gonna do is select the front view translate Y copy this value and select this Side view, translate, paste, and they will be of the same height because we have already make sure that both image are of the same proportion in our Photoshop previously. What I need to do is make sure that these two objects are the same height and the same on the same translate axis. Okay, press six to see the texture on the side view and the front view. Now this is how it looks like, and same thing I'm gonna. Just pull this right to the middle. Okay, and from here, I'm going to just pull this out further a bit. Okay, I'm going off my snap. I'm going to pull this out further and push the front view further out. Like this. If you are seeing that the image is actually very whitish, it will cause the lighting. So we can go to the lighting and use no lights. Go over here and use no lights. Same thing. Now the last thing that we gotta do is we have to make sure that these two are not clickable when we are modeling. These two planes. So what we can do is like these two objects and look at the display under channel layer editor look at the lay under display tab click on the last icon which says create a new layer for assign selected objects click on it these two op these two planes will be inside this layer to check if it is done correctly turn the v on and off if they disappear that means they are in this layer but they are still clickable for now. Okay, so what we're gonna do is click on the middle box, click it twice until a R word appear. Now, the R word means that it is in, is it a reference. So now, if I try to select it, I can't select it at all. Okay, so there you are, and from here you can actually start to model very easily just by tracing okay and you can do so by using a plane and you can draw from here give it some segments maybe like 5 by 10 and um, to make it easier to see you need to see through the plane all you need to do is go to attribute editor go to Lambert which is the default material reduce the transparency and there you are if I were to select this I can see previously you can't feel it's opaque now I can see with my text with my model 
Okay, and I'm going to edit it. Let me open up the other file I've done earlier on so you can take a look at how it, it, it looks like. Okay, this is the file that I've done previously. Okay, I'm able to just use polygon and trace out exactly as how the IMM will look like. Okay, so if I were to just turn on Lambert, reduce the transparency. This is how the model will look like. Okay, and on side view, perspective view, it will be like this. And all you need to do is extrude the planes from here, and it will look very close to your IMM. Thank you for watching, and I hope you like this video. Please share. If you like it, please share with your friends and help them to be faster in their modeling too. And tell me if this works for you. Thank you very much for watching islandtoinmate.com.